Veterans Day, November 11th, a day of observance, remembrance, and reflection. A day set aside to thank and honor all military veterans who have served our nation honorably in war or peacetime. It is also a commemoration of how our military veterans stand as the transition between the struggle of life and sacrifice and the peace that follows. Veterans Day is a federal holiday in the United States, observed annually on November 11th, and this day gives all Americans the opportunity to celebrate the bravery, service, and sacrifice of all U.S. veterans, living and deceased. A veteran is someone who has served on active duty in the United States Armed Forces, Public Health Service, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or Environmental Science Service. We must also never forget any prisoner of war or those missing in action who did not return home. There are currently more than 17 million veterans living in the U.S. in every state and territory. They come from all walks of life. Some are old and some are young. Some served here at home and others overseas. They are from big cities, small towns, and everywhere in between. But how is this holiday different than Memorial Day? And why November 11th? Veterans Day celebrates the service of all U.S. military veterans, while Memorial Day, which is observed in May, honors service members who have died in service to their country or as a result of injuries incurred in battle. Another military holiday that also occurs in May, Armed Forces Day, honors those currently serving in the U.S. military. Veterans Day, formerly known as Armistice Day, was originally set as a U.S. legal holiday to honor the end of the major hostilities of World War I as they were formally ended at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. For that reason, November 11th, 1918 was largely considered the end of the war to end all wars and dubbed Armistice Day. In November 1919, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed the first commemoration of Armistice Day with the following words. To us in America, the reflections of Armistice Day will be filled with solemn pride and the heroism of those who died in the country's service and with gratitude for the victory, both because of the thing from which it has freed us and because of the opportunity it has given America to show her sympathy with peace and justice in the councils of the nations. In legislation that was passed in 1938, November 11th was made a legal holiday and dedicated to the cause of world peace and to be hereafter celebrated and known as Armistice Day. As such, this new legal holiday was primarily a day set aside to honor only veterans of World War I. In other nations also involved in the First World War, their Remembrance Day is also observed on November 11th. In 1945, World War II veteran Raymond Weeks from Birmingham, Alabama, had the idea to expand Armistice Day to celebrate all veterans, not just those who died and served in World War I. Weeks led a delegation to General Dwight Eisenhower, who supported the idea of a National Veterans Day. At the continued urging of major U.S. veteran organizations, Armistice Day was renamed Veterans Day in 1954. And later that year, now President Dwight D. Eisenhower issued the first Veterans Day proclamation, calling upon Americans everywhere to rededicate themselves to the cause of peace. The Veterans Day National Ceremony is held each year at Arlington National Cemetery at 11 a.m. A color guard made up of members from each branch of the military renders honors to America's war dead during a tradition-rich ceremony at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The president or his representative places a wreath at the tomb and a bugler sounds taps. At the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, an American soldier, a veteran, is buried on a Virginia hillside overlooking the Potomac River and Washington, D.C. Inscribed on the back of the tomb are the words, Here rests in honored glory an American soldier, known but to God. An army sentinel maintains a 24-hour guard over the tomb, a constant vigil regardless of weather conditions. How can you help to honor Americans' veterans on Veterans Day? 
Write letters to veterans with help from local American Legion or VFW, Veterans of Foreign Wars, chapters. Visit and place small U.S. flags or a wreath at the graves of your local veterans. In school, students can share photographs of family members who are veterans and may also look up former students, teachers, and staff who are veterans to also display their names and pictures. Many of us are sons, daughters, cousins, or other relatives of a veteran or current service member. By setting aside November 11th and engaging in discussion about these crucial members of our family and our society, we are able to hear from and about those closest to us who have helped to shape U.S. history. Veterans Day continues to be observed each and every year on November 11th, regardless of what day of the week on which it falls. The observance of Veterans Day not only preserves the historical significance of November 11th, but helps focus attention on the important purpose of this day, a celebration to honor America's veterans for their patriotism, love of country, and willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good. Please remember to thank a veteran today. Thank them for their service and their sacrifice on behalf of all of us and to the United States.